Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you decided to come back to see me. If this is your first time joining, welcome. I am your empath earth angel and I was sent by the Lord down to earth to deliver a very special message to all of the chosen ones. You can forgive chosen ones, but don't ever forget. You know, I've always felt that overly religious folks, they always use forgiveness as a way to manipulate. They always use forgiveness as a way to re-traumatize the victim, exposing the victim to more abuse. I've always felt that way about forgiveness. I do understand we must forgive. The Bible clearly says we must forgive. God clearly instructs, instructs us to forgive, okay? There's no doubt about that. We have to forgive in order to move into the kingdom of heaven. We have to forgive to be able to move on with our lives. Forgiveness is for us, right? But again, overly religious folks, I've always felt that they use that term, you know, forgive them, forgive them in a manipulative way, okay? That really does not benefit the victim. So I want to talk about you can forgive them, but never forget. If someone has targeted you, if someone has set you up, if someone has had it out for you, chosen one, and has betrayed you and has just done the unthinkable to you, this could be a friend, this could be a family member, this could be anybody. It is okay to forgive them, but don't ever forget what they did. Because when you forget, when you forgive and just forget and put it under the rug and use that religious ideology about, I must forgive and I must forget and I must let this person back in. No, that's absolutely false. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen if you forgive them and you let them back in. Now, before I go in to tell you what's gonna happen, I want to um, bring up a story that I just read this morning. I saw it on another social media platform. It's actually a story from 2020. You guys can look it up. I don't know the names of the people involved, but it was an African-American man, okay? Um, back in the late 90s that murdered a white woman. I don't know where this took place at, but I do know that I believe his mother worked in this woman's house as a maid. And the young man, I think he was about maybe 17, he ended up murdering um, the woman who employed his mother, okay? He murdered her. Now this was back in the late 90s when he committed the murder. So uh, I believe he got 23 years so he served his time. He did the 23 years and served his time. Now, during that 23 years, the woman that was murdered, she had a daughter. Well, the daughter felt, you know, it was only right to forgive this young man. It was only right to have empathy for this young man because he was so young of age when he committed this murder against her own mother. He was such a young man. And she really felt that this young man deserved some empathy. This young man deserved some sympathy. This young man deserved a second chance. So she began writing this young man while he was in the pen. Okay, she became a pen pal to this man over the years. Now remember, he was about what, 17 when he went in there? So I'm pretty sure once she started writing him, you know, by this time he's a grown man. He's probably in his 20s, mid 20s or late 20s or whatever. So she starts writing him. They become pen pals, writing back and forth. And her family told her, 
do not write this man. This is not good. You know, we forbid you from, from contacting this man. And she ignored, she ignored their pleas and she continued to write him. So 23 years later, this young man gets released. I believe it was in 2020, they said, when he got released. This man gets released. The woman that had been keeping in contact with him, she secretly hires him to come back and work back at the house where he killed her mother. So this woman has allowed this man, once he, once he got released from prison, allowed this man to be employed at the same home that he murdered her mother in. I would never, can you imagine? <laughs> so her forgiveness, her forgiveness prompted her to go all the way out on a limb and give this man a job. So now this man is working in her home, okay? All these spirits are in this house, you know, where he murdered the mother, her mother at. So I don't really know the whole story, you guys. I believe that he was working there and I believe that something, some money was stolen. I think that some money, a chandelier was purchased and some money, some cash had came into the home and I think they said about $14,000 was stolen. So he stole them, well, she, believed that he stole the money which he probably did and um she went ahead and fired him do you know that this man now killed the daughter so not only did this man kill the mother in this house but this man has now come back to the murder scene and has killed the daughter rolled the daughter's body up in a rug when they found the daughter she was wrapped up in a rug on the top of the stairs now i don't know if this daughter was a chosen one i i, I don't know <laughs> but what i do know is that she had some of the qualities that a lot of us chosen ones have which is forgiveness okay we for some reason us chosen ones we we forgive people a little bit more easier than the next we do we for, we forgive people and a lot of times we give them a second chance some of us may even give them a third chance but uh, trust i bet most of us have learned our lesson on that right <laughs> but most of us we do we do we do give them a second chance so we do the same thing that this woman did this woman gave this man a second chance but guess what? She gave him a second chance to murder her. That's what she did. She created her own death. Who would have known? Did she know that she was creating her own future death when she began writing this man? This man was probably uh, having fairy tales and fantasizing. <laughs> fantasizing about how he was going to murder her one day. So I told you guys this story because I, when, I, when I read the story, I really, I saw the chosen ones in that entire story. And I was like, you know what? That's, that's our life. Like that's what happens with us. When we forgive and we let them back in, they murder us. That is exactly what they do to the chosen ones. They murder us. Now, they might not murder us literally, but you know what? I bet you there are some stories around the world of chosen ones that have gotten murdered by people that they forgave. I don't have those stories in front of me, but my point is they murder us mentally, they murder us psychologically. And we are doing that to ourselves because we are giving them an opportunity to come back in and get close to us again to do more damage. I've heard a term, I think it came from Maya Angelou, if I'm not mistaken. When somebody shows you who they are, 
believe them. I had to learn this the hard way. I have fallen into that forgiveness trap as well. Forgiving people that have done me so wrong and giving them a second chance. Chosen ones, I can attest and I am here to tell you, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse when you let them back in. They're going to be scheming the whole time of how they can take you down even worse than what they did the first time of how they can minimize your confidence, of how they can hurt you, of how they can damage you, of how they can put you to an end, finally, once and for all. That is their goal. So it is okay to forgive, but never, never let them back in. Or at least never let them back in the way that they were once back in. Because I know it's difficult. You know, when we have family, it's difficult for us, some of us, especially if we live directly with them or, you know, we just have a lot of close necessary interactions with them. It's difficult to just cut them off 100%. But you can cut them off in other ways. You don't have to allow everyone to have uh, such accessible access to you and accessible access to your life and what you have going on. They don't have to know all that. When you see them, it could be hi and bye. Hi, how you doing? Great to see you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. When they ask you a question, how you doing? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. That's all you have to say. I'm blessed. So chosen ones, a lot of you guys have really great hearts. And I know this because I'm a chosen one. And I have a really great heart that has really gotten me in a lot of unfortunate situations it has gotten me played it has really just gotten me in situations to where now i'm feeling even worse about myself because i'm like why did you do that why did you let this person back in why did you give this person a second chance so take this video chosen one as a warning if someone has betrayed you and someone has done the unthinkable to you, if you're going to forgive them, don't forget what they did to you. Forgive them for you and move on. Let them know that you forgive them, but move on. And never, never, ever let them back in. Thank you so much for staying until the end of my video. I really appreciate it. If my message resonated with you, hit that subscribe button. Why not? Life is too short. <laughs> well, until next time, you guys, if it is in God's will for me to make another video, I wanted to let you know that God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. The universe loves you. And your empath, earth angel, I always love you. I really hope to see you guys on my very next video. <laughs> Bye.